But the only hard bit left is the quilting. Because I've never done it before, but <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard. Welcome back everyone! Today I will show you how I made my petticoat for my 1840s Greek court gown. So the way I'm gonna structure this video is to document every single day that I've been working on this petticoat to see how long it takes and see myself slowly going crazy <laughs> in certain cords. So I started working on this petticoat while I was still editing one of my other videos. So let's call that day zero. And this is what happened on day zero. I started by taking my two meters of fabric and sewing the shorter edges together. Then I folded it in half along the longer edge, wrong sides facing the wrong side. And now I have my basic skirt shape and from there all I have to do is insert the cording between the two layers of fabric. I did a little sketch of the pattern of the cording I wanted to achieve, then I marked it on the skirt with the help of my rulers and some chalk. For the first couple of rows, I used this thicker rope to give a nice hold to the hem of the skirt. I inserted the first rope and held it in place with pins until I can go along its edge and sew as close to it as possible with my zipper foot. Or so I thought. Turns out my zipper foot has a little side to it, which, especially with this thicker cord, did not let it go as near as the edge as I would have liked it, and the sewing was uneven and ugly. So I went to the store and bought a cording foot that has a channel each side of it, and that worked like a dream. From then on, all I had to do is insert the cords by squishing them as near to each other as I could with my fingers and sew along them as close as possible. When I had enough cords in one portion, I moved on to my next previously marked line, did a line of stitching with the normal foot of the machine, then switching to the cording foot, I hassled the cord to its place. When I got to the part where I wanted my quilting part to be, I inserted a strip of this fluffy plush fabric and held it in place by sewing the very edges down.
day two of working on the corded petticoat and things are looking quite good actually. I worked last night till like 7 o'clock and I got quite far. So this is what I already had done in the day zero. These three, this one and this first one of the second portion. So yesterday I managed to do these parts. This one, I inserted the stuffing material into here, which is this plush thing for the quilting later on. And then I'm on the last little bits. So today I think I will be ready. Yeah, I really thought it would take a lot longer <laughs> and that it would drive me a lot more crazier, but actually with some good background YouTube and Netflix, it's manageable. <laughs> the only hard bit left is the quilting, because i never done that before, but <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard. Yesterday I didn't get up to too much before I realized that I have a freelance job that should be finished right about now. So let me show you what I get, got up to. So day two I was up till this line and yesterday <laughs> I did this line and this line and half of this line. Yep. Even with that I think that today is the day. I think today I will finally finish this petticoat, but let's see, maybe something will come up today as well. Before gathering the top edge of the skirt, I trimmed the interior layer of fabric down by about 3 inches and folded it back once and sewed the top edge of it to the outer layer. This way I will only have to gather one layer of fabric into the tiny pleats instead of two. I also opened up the side seam so I'll be able to put on the petticoat and folded the edges back twice. I sewed three straight gathering lines to the very top edge of the skirt and gathered it by pulling on the tails of these threads down to my waist measurement. Then I attached the waistband, right side facing the right side, then folding it in and felling the inside edge by hand.
morning, it's day 4, and I think today is the day that we'll finally finish this project. All the things left now is the quilting. So last night I did a bit of testing to see how I would go about quilting this thing. I made a 20 cm long piece of pattern as a stencil so I can trace it onto the fabric 10 times to make up the 2 meters of the circumference. The way I went about quilting this motif was I started at the stem and that would hold the inner fluff layer firm too as so I can go ahead and do the top more straightish part of the leaves for a bit. And as the last and hardest step I'd go back again and do the curvy end parts of the leaves. The end result is, well, <laughs> a bit handmade looking but looks alright from far away. halfway through the petticoat. since we met because doing the quilting is a really long and boring process <laughs> and I've been procrastinating like crazy to get back to it. I made a bunch of Christmas ornaments and a bunch of masks and even this dress. <laughs> but today I made myself a really nice cup of tea and I will finish this. I started by doing the easiest thing, making the buttonholes and adding the buttons. But once that was done, all that was left is to pull myself together and do the rest of the quilting.